trying to work on the um the speaker now. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, l let me know when you can hear me well because I can hear you. I, I got you. Say again? Yeah, I can hear you. All right, bet. So, Hassan, um, I'm going to be honest. First and foremost, I am, I'm actually kind of – I'm saddened that it went this way. I don't know if you planned for it to go this way. I'm live. I'm saddened that everything went this way because I think – we all had a great conversation. Everybody was, you know, again, everybody had their own own position, own, like, you know, platform, own opinion. And we all try to get it in. Of course, it, it was, it's a lot of voices and we are all loud. But, you know, like, we did the podcast and I felt like everything was good because everybody left and everybody left in peace. Where did all this stuff go left, my brother? All right. So somebody sent me a link or Clubhouse, prior to the one that we listening to right now, and Wack was talking to the people in Club Clubhouse, and he was telling them that, yo, yeah, I told, I, yeah, I pressed that nigga, I, I pressed that nigga, and oh, yeah, I was like, yeah, nigga, you got fucked in your ass, and I'm like, hold up, that nigga wasn't talking to me like that when we was face to face, he had gave me a thousand hugs, and we had good conversation, so how you get on Clubhouse and start telling niggas you was disrespecting me? You know, so that's the vibe. You know, when we left, when, when we left, after it was all over, he was talking about helping me start my clothing line. I thought we all had a good time. He gets to clubhouse and he telling dudes that he was pressing me. And then when he sat up there and said, yeah, nigga. I said, you got fucked in the ass. I said, yo, you didn't say that to me. And see, one thing about Wack, why is, Wack is a lion and a manipulator because before we started the podcast, and it's on camera, we had a conversation about what he did to Gilly and Wallow. And he was like, yeah, you know, I got to ask you. He asked me ahead of time, could I ask you about the band by the thing? And I said, yeah. So when he gets to Clubhouse, he making it seem like he was just violating me and pressing me. But when you look at all the footage behind the scenes, and you was there, so I don't have to tell you, this nigga was my best friend. So how you get to Clubhouse? And start telling nigga, yeah, yeah, I said that nigga got fucked in his ass and he ain't do nothing. Like, what? Yes. Like, first and foremost, man, my whole thing is like this. As far as the conversation, it didn't go the way that I wanted to go because he kept cutting off and intervening in everything I was saying. But at the same time, I understand this is debate. So mm -hmm. that wasn't the problem. My frustration came from I, th I felt like the conversation was just uh, immature. You see what I'm saying? No, no, but I understand. I, 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 I think that's where you and him start to differ, right? Because you're right. Honestly, I seen y'all having good conversation before everything started. I think once I think once the conversation started, and I was trying to read the energy a little bit, and maybe I think in his interpretation, once you started like, because I ain't gonna like your opinion, and correct me if, you're, if I'm wrong, you were like, yo, hey, listen, 6 9 I seen you go down a route. My job here is to try to see if we could make sure you don't go down the same route, especially don't bring other kids down that same route with you. And you were, you were coming at it that angle. And I don't know if that's the moment that Wack is just like, man, this thing is just talking bullshit. Like let he's the dude's a rapper. Let him do what a rapper does in terms of, you know, I don't know, getting attention, whatever the case is. You know what I mean? And I think, I think in Wack's mind, he was throwing shots subliminally. I didn't think it was aggressive, you know, but, um, I think he was looking at it like, nah, he was shutting you no, down. No, I'm going to tell you what it was. At, here's what it was. When you sat up there and you said in the hallway, when you sat at the table, you said it a few times. You even said Hassan Campbell, is. you said he's the wild card. I said that, like you're that. right. Then you said Hassan is going to be the greatest YouTuber ever. Now, that, while we're sitting at the table, right, we're sitting at the table, he's starting to read them young boys' energy. I transformed the energy in the whole room and they started talking about they're not thugs anymore. They grown men and they started speaking positive. He didn't like the glow that I had in the room because I outshined him. Whack and his ego feels like he's bigger than me. But right now he has a podcast. I mean, he has a YouTube page. I have a YouTube page. Video for video, I would kill him, even with celebrity guests on there. Because 
wants to hear, if, if nobody wants to hear whack talk by itself or with, with Rick or whatever his name is, he can't fuck with me. So his ego is starting to kick in. Even though he's sitting up there talking about nobody knows you. When I came to Clubhouse and came into that room with FBG Duck Mother, they sent for me. He sent for me. He knew who I was. Whack, whack, whack forgot that he said that we was going to do a podcast together, me and him. And we had a lot of conversations. Whack just didn't realize that everybody that Whack talks about, he talks about them so bad and so greasy. I never trusted him. Not even a bit of them. Wait, wait, of the wait, wait, said, wait, wait, no. wait. What do you mean, though? Because because we then get, like, some leaked footage or, like, leaked audio or whatever. And I don't know, like, everything, like, he, this is how, this is my honest outlook from it, right? I look at Wack and I say this. I, I, I'm, I'm like, well, Wack, I could, un you see, I'm not a street dude, right? So, like, if Wax went on, if Wack went on um Clubhouse and was like, man, yo, we had academics in there, like, shook. I might say, like, yo, that's not true, but I'm not going to be like, yo, Wack, fuck you. You get me? But that's just my demeanor. Now, I think what he said when it came to you obviously triggers you to be like, yo, bro, that's just not, you know, what happened because I didn't feel that way. But how did it get from there to the to the leaked audio, and why did you feel you have to put that out? Because now that's the big subject of conversation.